everybody, welcome to another great adventure over here on RJB Wildlife. Today we are here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park where we are going to be celebrating World Lion Day, as well as a couple little uh, updates that have been going on around the park, some a little more major than others. But if you're ready for another great adventure, let's go. So first off here in this video, I want to acknowledge that it is World Lion Day, and the one way that we're going to do that is hang out over here by Lion Camp. This is one of my favorite attractions here at the Safari Park, mainly because this amazing uh, area uh, opened up 20 years ago, and it's meant to overlook all of the African plain savannas and the little tram area off to the side here, kind of giving it a wide open feel and almost that authentic safari experience. Now, African lions are the largest uh, carnivore native to Africa, and uh, here at the park you do have one male and three females. Now, they have split them up. Bo, the male here, has been at this park for about a year, but he's still getting accustomed to um, being out with the crowds and even being out with the girls. Apparently, some of the girls haven't uh, grown accustomed to him quite yet, but. It's taking a little bit longer than the park anticipated for him to get accustomed to the ground. Oh, there he is right there. Um, so, with that, they, are, they have blocked off the glass viewing area when he's out just so that he's a little more comfortable. But, as of right now, that area is blocked off when he's out and then when the girls come out, uh, it's all opened up because the girls are more comfortable being out in the environment than he is. So, Bo continues to remain uh, an elusive lion. He it typically comes out in the morning and does his thing, runs around, but in the afternoon, around the hours of like four, three or four, he tends to come out and, fingers crossed, potentially does uh, his afternoon roars to announce his presence. Um, we'll see if we can come down here later in the afternoon, but in the middle of the day, you will not see him. He will be sleeping in sight. So, a little bit of a tip if you want to see Bo. One of the biggest pieces of news that I have to update you guys on is going to be right behind me. The barriers are down on the new pathway that leads into Elephant Valley. Uh, we're going to be walking through here a little bit throughout the day just to kind of showcase what it looks like, but I think this is an immense upgrade from what was there prior, which was just kind of a grassy knoll that was a picnic area, which is kind of also what you see further down that way. This area also provides a little bit of a shortcut from uh, the lion area where we're currently at all the way up to these restrooms that I'm pointing at right here. Uh, it also serves as a great shortcut to get down to the elephants from here if you just want to do that at the end of your day. So a little minor update over here at Tiger Trail. Uh, the mom and cubs, uh, Diana, Hutan, and Pateri, are all in the uh, Yard C, or the waterfall yard with the creek. Uh, this is a big development somewhat because uh, this means we are getting a little bit closer to the sad eventual day that uh, the cubs move on from mom and eventually go find other facilities to uh, call their home. So a little bit of a bittersweet. They are a year old as of July, so we're getting to that point. But here at the park, there is ever going progress on potential new cubs and new litters because this is a breeding facility. So there will be cubs in the future. These weren't the first, and they're not going to be the last. That's going to do it for today. If you had fun on this adventure, please hit the like button. And if you would like to embark with me on future adventures, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And until next time, I hope to see you all again on the next adventure on RJV Wildlife.